So the question is, why doesn't he grow up? Why does he still behave as a child? How can we help him get rid of these leftovers from childish behavior? <laughs> Those motherfuckers in their pointy shoes are going at it. <laughs> I feel better already. We missed a week. It was a shitty week. Two weeks. I felt terrible last week. I missed two weeks. I missed one. I missed two. You missed one. You know, it's like a vitamin. Uh, like, you don't notice taking it. Yeah. But when you stop taking it, Oof. you feel like shit. And then you realize the vitamin works. I was all clouded. Yeah, that's how... Um, I'll just move myself down a little bit. So, this episode, we are on two cameras. Yeah, hey, everybody. So, hopefully, this turns out pretty well. And we are brought to you by you. Yeah, please. By you. Uh, and, and the way, way we're doing that <laughs> is we will be accepting Bitcoin tips. And Dogecoin. So, and Dogecoin. So. What's Dogecoin? Dogecoin is a form of digital money. A digital currency. They, people are going to be talking about Dogecoin. You know why? Because it's very nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> the community is super nice. Right. And they're very philanthropic. They had a NASCAR. They did. They will have a NASCAR. Yeah. They just unveiled what it's going to look like. So oh. Dogecoin is a really interesting community. Oh. There, it's, it's, it's a completely, it's currency. completely yeah. made up. Yeah, it's a completely made up digital currency. Yeah. Okay. Right. That's worth money. That is worth money to certain people. There's a community of people. And you're saying they're going to have a fucking NASCAR? Now listen yeah. to this. Get they out. all donated their own Dodge Dogecoin. Yeah. <laughs> to sponsor a NASCAR in the Talladega 500 yeah, to raise awareness of the currency. Of digital currency. They want, it, they want that, reputation. That is the fucking way to do it. I yeah. mean, exactly. <laughs> yeah, man. I've been to one of those races. To, what was that like? An Indy race. You, first off, you can hear it from like miles away. Miles. I, it's just like rockets I used to live in Pennsylvania. <laughs> yeah, I used to live in Pennsylvania, so I've been to Nazareth Speedway and like from towns away you hear it like they've been talking about doing that formula one race in, in jersey and uh -huh. i've been excited because i figured i'll be able to hear it from queens like it's that loud. <laughs> that's fucking Holy crazy shit, yeah. but that that would be the way to raise awareness i mean nascar is one of the biggest sports in america and it and it hits like the heartland of america too yeah, yeah. angelo can you slide over like four inches this way yeah, because there it was like coming into the frame. There you go. And it'll um, my silly ass mohawk. In the frame. <laughs> yeah, it'll like it'll blur the. Right. So that's focus. what we're doing this week, guys. We're brought to you by you. Yes, Kyle's we're gonna, brought to you by you. He's gonna put up so, a code. So, uh, the, yeah, the, you'll find there will be a QR code in the bottom of the screen. Right around there. Probably. I'll I'll cut it off about after about like where the first ten minutes. Right around there. I don't know. Yeah, down there. <laughs> there you go. And under under our description, that will have the full address. Um. Our full public address for you to send us digital money, and I mean, if you if you uh, if you do if you send us a dollar five dollars whatever, we'll use that to pay Angelo. Yeah, we'll use it's going that. To we'll use that to to get better equipment, maybe better cameras, maybe yeah. better microphones, right. um, uh, maybe to pay guests that are actually whose time is yeah. actually worth money two hours yeah <laughs> uh but, but it, well it'll go directly into the podcast not we're not going to get paid out yeah, of it or anything like money. that we're just gonna anything that gets donated we're just gonna try to improve the podcast itself and try to make it better yeah so where, angelo ain't cheap where, yeah. where how do you how do you house Deutsche coin like so you know, is there a right. Deutsche coin bank like Deutsche so this National? is this is the beautiful thing about digital money and this is what makes it so much fun is the bank is you for the first time. You yeah. are the bank. Uh, you have yeah. an app. Uh, like, for example, I'll walk you through, like, if you'd start using it. You download an app. Uh, you have an iPhone? The uh, Galaxy phone. Okay. Same so thing. you go to the Play Store, you download an app, uh, and you would download a, a Dogecoin wallet. Okay? Okay. And that wallet 
would act as your bank. Okay, everything right. about a bank lives in that wallet. Yeah. Money okay. Transactions, Meaning, if you lose your phone, that wallet is gone. It is your. It is, the, is bank. the bank. Okay. That is the bank. Okay. So the first mistake that people make is they put too much money in it. Like okay. you wouldn't walk around with a hundred grand in cash, not, not in right? Pocket. Like that would yeah. be that would be ridiculous. <laughs> right. Um. That would be very stupid. So you put whatever money you're comfortable losing. You know, if you were to like lose your phone or lose your wallet, right. uh, you put that amount of money in this account. And it's a 33-digit number with capital and lowercase numbers. And uh, it's a public number. It's like an e email address. Okay. Other people can know it. They can only send things to it, just like an email address. Okay. And then there's another number. It's your private key. And that's what you don't want people to know. That's your, your uh, password yeah. to enter your email address. Um, so if somebody wants to send you, uh, money, as long as they have your address, if they can scan it either from a QR code or they can type it in, um, as long as they have your address, they can send you whatever that they want and they can send it directly to you without any intermediary. It all works within like the app with that, within the app language. Okay. It's pretty great. So for the, the first time you can send any amount of money to anybody on the planet instantly without any third party involvement. So it was the first email, you know, like where, where you could actually send a direct message to somebody else. Right, instantaneously. Instantaneously. Right. Bananas, right? It's that with money. All right. And you could also put it in a physical form so you don't carry around. To, right. to like both the Deutsch, Deutsch, yeah. Deutschland, the Deutsch Deutschland. Coin. <laughs> That's Germany. <laughs> Dogecoin. The Dogecoin and the Bit and the Bitcoin, do they both have the same value currency? No. Or? No, they're they're only valued on what somebody's willing to give you for that currency. Yeah. So it's like it's a return to like ancient times like where it's basically just, the it's, like the gold standard, like how we got out of that, but it's kind basically of, online now. Well they yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. I, mean, I yeah. think they, they basically realized that money had no inherent yeah, value it either. Doesn't. Like money only has value because you right. agree that right. it has value, and a lot of people agree that right. one dollar has value. Yeah, just so, like it was with with metal. With yeah, gold, with gold and silver. Exactly. Right. And exactly. Um, so people have figured out. Well, if we have a big enough community and we all agree that there's some value in these currencies, and right. we can establish that somebody can't counterfeit them, and they're limited in source, then that's money too. Sweet. So they have you know, started these currencies, created these communities, and now they're doing things like advertising because like they, the communities have yeah. a lot of, of money and they're like, if more people find value in this money, yeah. then our money's worth more. Yeah. So that's why they're all banks now. Yeah. Take Bitcoin I mean, yeah, that's, that's, and stores that's basically the places. problem. Like we, we got off of that standard, the gold standard where we, I, my uncle just gave me a, a gift. He always gives out gifts for Easter. He gave me a dollar bill that said, silver certificate on it nice where your, your dollar actually had a physical value to something yeah it was in fort knox somewhere right and that just sounds to me like the same thing we're just creating an online yeah. value yeah an online way of, of keeping track of it all that's fucking cool that's yeah. really cool it's way better than relying on a, a uh the central the federal was it central bank or federal yeah. it was called central bank the that's central right. bank that's not government mandated at all it's just a company Better relying on, I would but say, Bitcoin. Then. It puts it puts that power back in your hands and exactly. our hands and cool. people's hands. Like yeah. no nobody can print more money. Yeah, there's a limited you know, no, amount. There's a limited amount. Um, Sweet. And and the power of of uh, the value of it lies in us. You know, it, it doesn't lie in a, a stock market crash. It doesn't lie <laughs> in someone else fucking up or uh, some country defaulting. Yeah. It, it just lies in its community. And yeah. as long as there's a community, then then Should there's, always be fine. there's value, but it depends on that community. So, oh, I, I would say, oh, are you, are you, are you gonna plug any? More? I was gonna change the subject. Oh, okay, cool. Me too. Uh, did you hear about this uh, net neutrality? Yes. Movement that, yeah. or change that's happening right now? I forgot the guy's name. Are you really worried about? Well, Tom Wheeler is that's, he's that's, the FCC chair. Very seventy years old. He's really old. Yep. He 70. he initially got involved or kind of uh, when he started 
as the FCC commissioner, he said that he was going to really work to maintain net neutrality, and now he's just given up. I don't think he's given up at all. I just think that now he's getting a lot more money to not do that. Yeah. <laughs> a lot. Yeah, they're throwing everything at this dude. Yeah, and, and it's crazy, too, that someone, I mean, what, he's 70, right? And at this point, if you're head of the FTC, you're a millionaire. Like, you have a lot of money. Um, but yeah, uh, um, he has a lot of cash. So like, why take all these bribes now? Or not bribes, but like, why take all this money to change what you were doing in the first place now? You're 70. What are you going to do with it? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, well, I mean, greed. I think everybody's enticed by something. For sure. Dude, you throw, you throw like hot enough, hot enough girls at him. Um, yeah. you know, dude, I mean, he's going to give in. Dan Bilzerian type situation. Yeah. You throw in yachts, hookers, <laughs> fake boobs. AKs. Midgets. <laughs> On chains, yeah. pimped out, on chains. Pimped out Jaguars, blacked out jets. Like not the car, the animals. Just there. <laughs> yeah, by the way. If any if if any of you are on are uh, on Instagram, check <laughs> out check out Dan Bilzerian. It's only amazing. Yeah. You'll uh, lose your afternoon just looking at this guy, either trying to figure out whether you hate him or love him. Yeah. It's very difficult. Dan even, Bilzerian? Yeah, Dan just, Bilzerian. He's well, without going too much into it. Don't go too much just, into just it. Look just it up. let just look, look it up. It up. I don't amazing. even want to talk about it anymore. Um All right, FCC rules. Is the internet going to change? That's that my big thing is uh, big question I guess is like uh trying to figure out is is the internet going to become like like cable? Is the internet going to become like yes. TV? Or have we lost the internet and should we already well, start prepping for the next thing. I can see a couple the of things. The next way of communication where they can't yeah. fuck with the middle. I, I can see a couple of things happening. I can see like a global movement. Uh, everyone pushing like, no, don't fuck with it. Because if you fuck with the internet, it's, let's say just the United States, that messes with the internet all over the world, right? Because it's, it's, it's a central hub and mm-hmm. it's it's a worldwide connections. as a network. That's how that works. So if you fuck with one part of it, all of it gets fucked with. So either like a worldwide movement will happen and people will really push against this globally, like through the UN or whatever the fuck. Or they'll just make another internet. Do you understand what the the big rulings were and and the questions uh, that are being presented right now for the internet? Yeah. To my understanding, they wanted to like almost sell time on certain or allow you to visit certain sites like a cable package. Like you would have to buy they, access yeah. to this. And they buy, they so want to monetize. They want to charge heavy internet user users or companies more. Mm-hmm. So if you're Netflix and you upload a shit ton. To the to the network, and you people download a shit ton mm-hmm. from your site. They want to have the ability to charge you because you have a lot of yeah. traffic, which is ridiculous because it costs them nothing more. Right for, for you. Let's say I uploaded ten terabytes a day. That right. does nothing to anybody. It doesn't anywhere. cost them any. It doesn't. It's it's a road. Yeah. Like think about roads. They're just wanting to put a toll on it. What they <laughs> that's, yeah. That's all they, they want to do. There's build a bridge. You have uh, these huge eighteen wheeler trucks, and then you have these little tiny cars and there's no different differentiating those two they're they're going to charge them the same amount what yeah. they want to do is charge the bigger cars more or bigger trucks more because they can because they can it's not it doesn't actually cost them anymore <laughs> the roads are already li- like yeah. laid um the once it goes through it's going to go through really quick it doesn't p- hurt them yeah. In any way, but they want the right to to charge you more for it. If that happens, man, that's that'd be a real like. Well, it's a shame because it's a real you know stopper of websites like that don't make a lot of money, or but don't. have shit tons of traffic. Reddit, for Destroyed. example, they don't make money. Reddit is gonna be fucked. Yeah, because they don't make any money. They're like in the Net- red. Netflix makes shit tons of money, yeah. or at least collects a lot of money that they can pay out some of that. Reddit just they just pay for servers. And that's, yeah. I mean, they may have a few employees, but like they're pretty they much like, like fifty. Yeah, they they don't have money no. to pay for them. No, like, they pay they, for traffic, and they're like their yearly blog or monthly blog, whatever it is. Right. They tell everyone all the time. They show them their like their monetary figures. They're like, we're in the red yeah. always. Like <laughs> we have been since. The, yeah. So the, the problem, so the problem that's presented is now the what you'll see on the internet is stuff that's been paid for by companies. It'll be all commercialized. You won't have any more information that's just coming yeah. from bloggers. It's coming from original from content. Us it's gone. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like we don't have money to pay for traffic. Yeah, like we can't do that. We can't. Why we're on the internet. Yeah, we're, yeah, yeah, exactly. So since we can't, we can't compete with Game of Thrones. No, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. That like has lots of money to pay for traffic. So it it's it's a new 
unfree internet yeah. where whereas before it was free and fair for everybody to compete against each other and the best content is going to rise to the top yeah. now it's who can pay the most yeah and if you can pay the most then you'll get to the top so like coca-cola and fucking co- yeah. google would be fine so it's so what is, what is this why why is this so happening? this is this is the net because the ftc neutrality. would make more money <laughs> This is the net neutrality debate that's going on. There was a Supreme Court decision. Oh man. That where Verizon sued the FCC because Verizon wanted to charge companies more money. More money that use more traffic on the internet. When they it wanted costs nothing They more wanted to, do. to be like, "Okay, Netflix, you have lots of traffic. We want to make more money from you." Yeah, shit. So yeah. that may not seem so terrible. Like on its no, face, that you're sounds like, awful. What that I, sounds like the well, what worst I mean thing ever. is like it, just when you think about oh, just Netflix, yeah. that doesn't sound so bad. But if you think about the entire internet now, it's it's terrible. It it's awful. Destroys user content. Awful. Because now it gives them it gives them the ability to censor our internet. Yep. In essence, they they can choose. They can be like, oh, you're talking shit on Verizon. Oh, mm-hmm. guess what? Your rate just jumped to a thousand dollars a month. Or like you know they could they yeah. could get mad at us and the content that we're putting out and yeah. say we don't want we don't like that running on our network yeah and now we're gonna charge you a hundred grand or you're off the air yeah your your content so falls into it, this it whatever. creates wow. a fucking huge problem because it gives them the ability to censor right you know and that's Absolutely. that's fucked Google. that that ruins everything that's wonderful about the internet. Google basically did that to YouTube like a year ago. So like a year ago before Google changed the uh, the like the filtering system to get rid of um, videos with copyright, uh, users, regular users, like say you had like between 30 and like 60,000 subscribers, you can make money off YouTube just fine. Like the, the people were making livings off of that, like making 100 grand a year and just being totally cool. Like for uh, there's one guy called the Mad Game or whatever does that. And after Google changed up their like filtering system, they started ripping down tons and tons of videos, saying that all this content was flagged, saying right. you had copyrighted inf- information. They pulled down all his shit. They pulled down all his old stuff. They pulled down not just his, like oh, everyone. No. Like they hit all these small channels hard, and half and more than half the time, they weren't uh, using copyright information. Like they say, they were interviewing people. For like, oh, this is blah 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 with Xbox. So now it's like Xbox has claimed kind of this as copyright infringement. Tore your video down. Oh no! Right. And it wasn't Xbox. It was they YouTube. They were just they were just like talking about yes. different yeah. things. They, and they, so you could be talking. There would be a guy that? in his video in his bedroom talking about a topic. Took it down. So people lost all their money, and now they can't make a living off of YouTube again. And so they have to get like regular jobs. So like tons of channels shut down, and only the big ones with like five million subscribers are fine. So it's the same thing essentially happened. Wow. It's pretty it's shit. fucking sucky. It's shitty. Google well, I mean, up. so I was I was thinking about like, uh, all right, this is really shitty. This is terrible. Yeah. It hasn't changed yet. What would keep it from changing? What What would help the situation? And something I thought about. Get out there and vote. No, I thought about <laughs> Google Fiber. I'm like, this is that's that's the competition could fix this. How so? If there's competition, it could fix it. All right, so let me give you an example. Verizon. They start pulling the shit, and they start charging Netflix more. Okay. Comcast doesn't. Everybody's gonna want to switch to Comcast, right? You know, if you're Netflix, if you're anybody, you're gonna like stay away from Verizon as much as possible. You in what's scary about this situation is this is all coinciding with the Time Warner Comcast merger. Yeah. So they're banking on the fact that they're gonna. Get rid of net neutrality and, and they'll have a monopoly. Yeah. If you have competition, then there could be somebody, there could be some provider out there that's like, listen, we're offering free internet. We're, yeah. we know, we're not changing it. We're or not least, charging anybody. And everybody's going to be like, we want that internet. We want that. Bring that one. Or but if least, you don't have a choice, you're fucked. Yeah, man. And I mean, uh, also, I feel like Google, at least they could lobby against what they want to do with FCC. Well, if, if they launch a huge campaign yeah saying like like saying listen we're gonna offer free internet around like to anybody who wants it um but you need we need each city to front the bill for for the fiber mm. so that we can get in there we can't afford to do it on our own the lines now if it's bad enough in each you know municipality people will hopefully vote to bring in google fiber bring yeah. in competition 
And that pressure that Google Fiber will present, the threat of them coming in, offering free internet cheaper, hopefully that threat of that will be enough to keep Verizon, Comcast, Time Warner from pulling that shit. The problem... The problem is, though, in a lot of states, I'm trying. I'm looking up an author right now, the person I'm about to talk about. The problem is, in a lot of these states, um, a lot of states, fiber, like fiber optics, is illegal to lay down in, in, for internet. Like, this is a woman, her name is Susan. I'm trying to pull up her book right now. I can't find it. Uh, we'll, we'll put it in the, inf the information later. But this woman named Susan something wrote a book saying, uh, talking about how across the United States, they've lobbied before Google had this, they, uh, Internet companies have lobbied to make fiber optics illegal because for them to then lay down the lines in the future would cost way too much money. So in some states, like Google, uh, Google Internet would technically, right now is illegal. Like you can't do that. I think like Vermont was one of them and like in a few other states. So it's, it's going to be really fucking hard for Google to expand because it's technically illegal in some places. Maybe, I mean, maybe we're looking at it too, too short-sighted. Maybe the next thing will be wireless. Because <clears throat> one thing they are doing in these hot spots is they're just blasting the city with Wi-Fi. Yeah. You see the balloon project they're working on? Yeah. Like, that same be, same type the deal. They, yeah. it, they might be thinking, you know, like to lay down all of this this pipe, you know, this fiber in the air. Is, is like laying down railroads. And that's fucking expensive. Yeah. And guess what? We're smart and they're about to invent the airplane. So maybe right. we shouldn't waste all this money like laying down an actual network a physical network yeah when it's about to all go wireless anyway and we could be on the forefront of that we'll have to wait a little bit yeah they're they're gonna sit here and they're gonna bitch and whine about like you know net neutrality and like oh we're not letting in competition <laughs> you're a dying railroad yeah i can't guess what you're on your deathbed we're just gonna wait here and watch you die yeah everybody's gonna bitch and moan for a second but it's gonna be like your last grips and then we're going to launch a satellite that blasts the country with the blazing fast internet all the time and everybody's hooked up I, I i just don't think people will let it go backward like if here's the thing if you slow it down too much in america it's going to keep up in other countries and we're going to be like hey what the fuck is well, going on almost dude north like the rest of the world south has korea better. has like uh 400 megabyte cell service yeah <laughs> it's, have you heard about this yeah dude it's china has like what like three Half, gig uploads and downloads yeah like crazy uh, they get internet. well it's not a, i don't even i don't think china's is that good but south korea's is fucking bomb like japan bomb because it's it's a really like small um it's really dense cities yeah so they, they blast like just the best signals through and these really small areas and also the internet there's government mandated yeah, it's, it's a utility. Yeah, it's run by the government. So, of course, that's just going to be dope. Yeah, dude. Why wouldn't they make it the best? Yeah. Here's the thing. We aren't, we, we aren't going to, like, as a country, sit back and be that much worse. than, than well, Like, we might not be as good, yeah. but we're not going to sit back and, like, listen to, like, uh, Japan be like, hey, what's up? We got a thousand times faster internet than you. We're way better. Like... We're too prideful, dude. Too As ego. a country, we have too dude. much ego. You know, Nobody, was... even those dicks in office, they, they have to be like, fuck those guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because right, I, I was just in Texas and I was like, oh my God, just, I've never seen towns like this. Just like what? I, I guess I'm from a town like this, but not quite like in Texas. Just like, uh, you know, some of them look run down. Mm -hmm. So then what they, what they do is they'll take one building and like whatever surrounding businesses were there, they all just come into the same building. So I, I literally went Whoa. to Brian's Auto Parts that had auto parts, vinyl siding, uh, like making signs, mm. vinyl signing, and then a computer store. <laughs> like all in one thing. So and they're all sharing that. a rent now? Yeah, they're all sharing the rent. And uh, That's smart. It, one of the things was we went to this office place where it was Radio Shack, Office Supply, and like the FedEx and UPS shipping center <laughs> all at once. That's awesome. And they, they sold dial-up internet there. <laughs> oh my! They had it for sale. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Whoa! Are they? Where? Where are they? That work? Time right now. Can you still dial up? I, I guess. Yeah. Is that an option? Yeah. No. I mean, I'm serious. <laughs> yeah, I think you can. Yeah. Like, there's some people in America that are like, I love is still. A, they're I'm waiting. Not even quite sure they're waiting is. for it to go. I'm not gonna lie. I've never used dial up. I did. 
Prodigy. Remember I know, I did too. <laughs> what the fuck? What? You don't even know what I'm talking about. It's like I'm, the way I'm, I'm talking Diego. about it. I'm talking about like the phones that like you a turn rotary thing, a and rotary goes, phone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. The in, the internet used to dial up. Like you have to call in, and it would go through these series of sounds that you listen to, and oh, at the end of it, hopefully you were connected. <laughs> What the fuck is that? When you couldn't pick up the phone, yeah, yeah, while no, someone was on, yep. you couldn't be on the phone. Oh kick you God. off the internet. That's, That's so it. ridiculous. That's it. So it connected the the phone. So lines? people still use that. All right, sell that shit. People are stuck That's twenty awesome, years ago, man. That's not awesome, but it's funny. <laughs> but what's funny? What's funny is how how that feels like ancient. It does. And, yeah, I felt like I was in a whole different. I mean, time. how long ago was that? Fifteen years. Yeah, yeah, about a little more. Fifteen? No, 20? I mean, twenty. Yeah, because I'm thirty. 30 I was messing with the internet when yeah, I was Yeah, you would have been a baby. Yeah. But, um, yeah, 20 years. It's just ridiculous. That's absurd. <laughs> it wasn't even 20, dude. No, 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 no. It, that was like... Um, <laughs> it was 20. 15, man. No, it was 20. I mean, I, when I, I was 10... I definitely had cable at five. When I was no, 10... No, because here's the thing. I was, I was in eight, When I was 18 in high school, that was still the way that, that it connected. Cool. And that was... Uh, that was, would have been 99. Wasn't your town pretty rural, though? Yeah, but I mean, I it wasn't like. Oh yeah, too there. Were, I mean, dial-up lasted a long time. The cable internet was a big deal. Yeah, and and that was, that was like <laughs> the cable internet was like Google Fiber. Like yeah. if it came to you and it was available finally, like holy shit, you were finally plugged in. The people, those T one lines and shit. Oh God, yeah. it was like what was it? it wasn't even that much. Now it's not that much, but a T one line was like it ran a whole business, didn't it, back in the day? Yeah, mm. I don't even know how much internet that is. Yeah. So we had a we had a we had a fun. We haven't been on the show in two weeks. We've had a fun two weeks. Let's let's uh let's preface this part of the podcast with the word of the day: allegedly. Allegedly. We had allegedly. We allegedly had fun last two weeks. Yeah. Allegedly. What you guys do the last two weeks? We met God. Allegedly. Allegedly, we 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 can now say we live up to the title of the show. Yeah. Allegedly, we consumed um these uh these little spongy fungus fungus that grows mm-hmm. out of the ground allegedly okay. allegedly it might have and been the active ingredient might have been allegedly psilocybin and we were allegedly terrified <laughs> and then we allegedly ingested and <laughs> allegedly waited who was terrified <laughs> me we <laughs> and him were both fucking scared i was physically sweating Dude, anytime Why? you do a new oh we terrified anytime you... you've done it before though right Mm-mm. Allegedly. Allegedly, it was both our first times ever doing psilocybin. Yeah. I thought, you, I thought you definitely did it before, which basically allegedly, led you to this Allegedly to this did, podcast. did lysergic acid. Yeah. Allegedly. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. So this was your first time doing the, mm. uh-huh. allegedly doing the, the, the psilocybin. Yeah. And what, what did we think? <laughs> because well, I, I've done it before, and I, I'm going to be doing it again in May. This was my experience. Kind of went down like this. And not allegedly, I've done it. Yeah. <laughs> well, we said it enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Share your story, Kyle. Share mine. Okay. So it came on. Uh, we were watching a YouTube playlist. Well, do the day. Do the leading up to it. The whole day. Oh yeah. Um. So my brother and I, uh, we caught Alec on the street on a Saturday, maybe yeah. at like one o'clock. We supposed to go bow hunting. We were gonna go uh, shoot arrows, but instead, my brother had allegedly brought some fungus with him. So we were like, "Alec, are we are we gonna go shoot arrows? Or are we gonna go <laughs> explore the cosmos Jump into the universe?" Um, and Alec, that you, Alec that was you in. Didn't do both. So we went. We went back to my apartment. We made a YouTube playlist. We oh, I had the works. Yeah, we um, music or, or no. podcasts. Alan Watts. No, just Terrence a YouTube McKenna. playlist of a I whole bunch of different night. stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we blended them up into like a kale shake. Yeah. Drank them down. Uh, healthy. Yeah, felt very good. Um, the the alleged fungi? Yeah. The alleged fungi. In a shake? Yeah. Oh, brave. It was, it was great. <laughs> and it took hold right Ooh. about this moment in a, in a YouTube um video about fear anxiety oh. and depression you guys did not prep yourselves properly for that. we didn't i thought we did the right thing and you shouldn't have put that one in there no i think it was, it was perfect. perfect it was yeah? perfect for it set the okay. tone. and um it was duncan trussell talking about mm-hmm. um the bhagavad gita yeah. and a story from the bhagavad gita 
about these two armies that uh, it was a, it's a metaphorical story about like a, a, a battle that's yeah. about to happen. Um, and it's, it's a battle that has to happen. Um, it's it, it, the huge million person armies are like lined up. Conch shells are being played. Yep. Everyone's, you know, they're ready to go. You have two of the leaders kind of walking out and one, the one leader is scared because, you know, he sees what could potentially happen all the lives that are lost and he wants to change his mind. He wants to run yeah. away. He wants to, to go, you know, he, he says, I would rather, leave and live live my life in the in the forest as a beggar yeah. then 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 commit all of these men to die and the 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 other guy the other uh, the leader of the other army said no you you're a warrior no, you it was, have it was to, the god that said it it was what well, he represented the god okay. side right yeah. and he said no there's no honor in that you have to fight you have to try. You can't like just go and claim that you're some sort of like yeah. authority or that you're so enlightened yeah. by running away and not trying. Because the and that resonated with me in that moment because I realized everything in life that's worth anything would we there's a there's a a moment where you just don't want to do it. Yeah. You just want to run away. Let me just go back home. Let me go play video games. Let me not deal with this. Let me right. like and act like oh. Uh, you know, I'm just not concerned with that, you know, that world mm. of yours and uh, that whole hippie mentality. It's your ego trick. That's you bullshit. Into what you're doing is higher. Right. Higher. Than no, the the real honor and what we have to do always in our lives is is fight. We have to do the hard thing. We have to like keep trying. We have to we have to fail and we have to get back up and we have to try again. And we might not always get it, you know. But we you have to keep fighting you can't give up whatever whatever that is yeah whatever you're trying to do you I, know I that, take that back that's awesome yeah so it was incredible <laughs> so i only wrote one thing down oh we took notes from yeah the trip. <laughs> really? yeah yeah i only wrote one thing down and that was there has to be a fight and it and it was, and it was the perfect it meant note. so much to me in that moment because that it resonated that you have to keep trying there has to be a fight. It's not going to be easy. You're going to want to run away. You're going to want to stop. And you yeah. got you got to fight against that. That was your lesson. Yeah, that was my lesson. Which fits into what you're doing right now in life pretty it, fucking well. So many different things I'm, that in my life that I'm doing right now that I don't want to do. Yeah. I, I do want to, but I but, don't want all the shit that comes with it. Yeah. It's very hard. You know, it, it it's a pain in the ass. But ultimately i have to keep my head down i have to keep fighting um and the relief that came over me after that allegedly <laughs> the relief i it put me into tears yeah because i it, but it was it happy was, tears it was but it was it was almost like uh i was carrying around a 100 pound bag mm -hmm. and not knowing it yeah like i didn't even know it was i was carrying this burden on me this burden of like pain, this burden of like my ego, this burden of fear. And it was like I was being pulled over this waterfall, not quite knowing what would happen when I dropped the bag. It was like the first thing I realized is that I was carrying the bag. Yeah. Then it was like, yeah, well, let's get rid of this bag. Let's but it's like, eh. it's like, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Because it's like, that's me in, my, in there. You, you associate that ego with you so there's some fear of letting that go but then once you let it go and you feel that relief and you're like oh fuck yeah. it's okay you, i mean it's nice. fine yeah though everything's fine you don't have to to go through life like that you don't have to perceive the world like that yeah. you don't have to it's to, self to be struggle. so worried about yourself you don't have to be so worried about what other people think about you you don't have to be so worried about ego-driven things. You can just be a part of it. And then after that was, uh, you know, once I let all that go Oof. and I felt all that relief, I was very clear. I was very, uh, I was very connected to the world uh, because I wasn't really, I wasn't thinking about myself. I, I tell people it felt like antibiotics, antibiotics for the ego. Nice. You know, like it, it just destroy it, it just dissolves your ego temporarily. 
for a few hours. So you can exist without that ego and, and realize how nice the world is without an ego. And it, we need an ego. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, it's not it, like an ego keeps you from jumping off a building because, you know, well, you're concerned about gets, your your safety. It gets the building made. Yeah, it keeps right. you safe. It keeps you in an apartment. Yeah. It keeps you having a job, having relationships. Egos are important. But it's also, I think, very important to remind yourself that that's not all you are. And that you can go through life like this, too. Like, this is an option. This right. is a way that you can look at everybody. This is a way you can look at the world without judging it. And it feels good yeah. to look at the world feeling like you're a part of it without judging it. And and the entire time, I didn't feel fucked up. That was yeah, the no. big thing. Yep. Like, I think people, people right think... There, right that it like does something messed up to you? No, not if you do it responsibly. Not really. I mean, like we we allegedly, you know, did a, a medium amount, I guess, um, without going into specifics. But it was right for what it yeah. was. It felt I, like a the best version of church I've ever been to. Nice. Yeah, it definitely. I mean, what about you? Well, for me, I mean, Kyle's lesson, like you said, was uh, predominantly was mostly about ego and letting go of that self-imposed weight. And for me, I, I mean, I wrote down a bunch of notes. Well, not a bunch, but some during it. And for me, my main thing, I guess, was just, like, love. And it's, like, letting, let, like, I let a lot of, uh, before then, I had, like, a lot of social barriers and self-imposed, like, just not talking to people. Oh, I'm scared to talk to girls or whatever. Like, weird shit like that. And during the trip, like, I felt like, I think the best way I've been describing it to people is, like, the embodiment of love took the shape of a person and took my hand and just showed me through a different angle on life all the silly things I was doing to myself. Like, don't, like, why would you not talk to this person then? That's weird. That's so silly. Don't put that, or don't say it like this or do it like that. And after the trip, man, I felt like, um, like I, I told Kyle, I was like, I felt like an angel poured like just buckets of dopamine on my face. And just, I was like, just reeking happiness. Nice. We would have conversations Good. about life and ego during the trip. And I, Literally, I was trying to listen to Kyle. I was really trying, but I couldn't stop laughing. He, I, but it wasn't like laughing at me at no, all. It was, like it was it, Alex. Right. Experience you could tell from from where I was sitting was just pure joy. I, like euphoria. just pure I couldn't happy. Stop happy. Like it, nice. it hit me like a train. Yeah. And after that, um, I had a few people. Marcos, like one. Even you said you noticed, like, I, I'm, I've just been better with people after it. Like, yeah, yeah. I've been so just like, hey, man, just, it's, like, I'm losing a lot of just social anxiety. It changed my life when I did it. Yeah. And it was pretty amazing. What, what was what was your, what do you think you learned from uh, this? I went to a, I, I did, just because uh, my brother, he's the one who, who got me into it. And, uh, you know, allegedly. And they, you know, beforehand, he was just like, all right, you're going to do this. It's going to be your first time doing anything different. You know, you know, I've drank before and I stopped drinking. I don't drink alcohol anymore. I smoke uh, marijuana. Often. Allegedly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and he was just like, you know, take some time beforehand and kind of like do some work on your life. Like, you know, if you're you're having problems with your girl, do something about it. If you're having problems with work, try to do something about it. So like the, the couple, like I was looking this as like, I'm preparing this as like a new life event. So like, you know, I, I got some shit straight in my life right before yeah. it and then i went up and the way we did this was it was a music festival that's three Oof. days long Ballsy. in the woods and private property and like it's it's it like literally just camping in the woods and like surrounded by trees and wildlife and just music for three days straight and uh so i did it in the woods in you know at our campsite which was pretty far back and i i did it and got to lay in the sun and watch the trees dance for like six hours. It was the absolute most magical and beautiful thing. And I just thought about so many things in my life that I just don't take enough time to, one of the things I got was I didn't take enough time in my life to sit and think, Yeah, which I do now, whatever chance I get. I feel like that's a big part of the experience is that you have to, you have to do some self work. Yeah. 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 Like to get the most out of it, which which all makes sense. Going back after it was over, I couldn't stop also thinking about how this was religion. Like this yes. was this is cl very clearly the church. Church. Like gotcha. this is what they do. You know, you're you're focusing as a group together, together. ritual, ri doing this ritual 
together in a, a very um, inspirational space yeah. and talking about with with someone instructing ways to work on yourself. And I was like, this is church. This yeah. is what this is the best version of church I've ever done. I got um, and. I, like I did, it made perfect sense that, that people would do this once a week. <laughs> like it made sense that like they would want it to be sacred. You would want to do it this way, you know, in a in a safe place, kind of together, and and learn lessons. Um, but it totally it all yeah. made sense. Like the the whole, the biblical stories are gonna make make sense. The the lessons that you learn are gonna make sense. You're gonna get filled up with love. It's gonna sort of recharge your batteries. How did you guys feel right after? Like a bit, at, like the day after. The hangover was happiness. There's no hangover. Mine, it's it, yeah, it's well, zero. With mine, just because I did so much work, self work, yeah, self realization beforehand and during. And right after, I was pretty bummed. Really? It was it was kind of that thing you were saying like this is an option mm. type of thing you can feel yeah. this way yeah. so i was actually pretty i was pretty they down and, and like quiet that. the whole day afterwards and my brother noticed and he was like you know he, he had me smoke and and he was just like this will help steady the ship you know because right now you've you've done a lot of work so it's kind of like oh. you're, you're kind of like healing from it so you feel really bummed because it's like this this is a whole nother option that you that you know you can't you, you can't like completely indulge in you mm. know what i mean you need to to kind of taste it and and do it once in a while to 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 help yourself out yeah you know, you know how many grams you had allegedly uh, allegedly no, i don't remember it was a good amount though um oh. i it is kind of disappointing when that ego creeps back in yeah. you know what i mean because well, every it wasn't like yeah. it ended and now i'm hung over it, but it was you are in this place where you're so focused on the external that when you see yourself in a mirror, you're like, "Holy shit, I'm yeah. a person!" Like you're you right. forget, yeah. like you forget that you're even a you, because you're because you're, you're just so f fixated on the outside. And uh, when the ego does come back in and starts talking, you're like, "God, it's, it's damn creepy. it, you're back!" You know what I mean? There, there is that disappointment of like. <sighs> You're annoying, yeah. you know. Go, okay, now I got to deal with this. Yeah, right. But the, again, the benefit okay. of the trip though is now you're able to realize that. Yes, and that's what helps later yes. on in the week where you're still like, all right, I'm not gonna fucking think that again once I see Jim because Jim's such a douche. He's not. I'm just being an <laughs> asshole. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you could realize where you're being a, a dick, maybe or ego. Dude, filled. you feel it because yeah, when you're being there. a dick, it hurts. Like when you're on when when you when you uh, allegedly ingested these these fungus <laughs> you, and you even begin to start turning the wheels to like do something that's yeah. kind of like better nasty better or mean or judgmental it hurts instantly it's like a shock collar yeah. right. like the instant you try to like start doing something like that it's like no don't no stop so you just don't you know yeah. and, and it feels really good it to do that great. but then like after or days later even i, I kept that still worked. Yeah. You know what I mean? I felt myself starting to want to be judgy and instantly I'd be like, oh, that's a dick. Don't do that. That doesn't make you feel good. That's not good for anything. It's not good for anybody. Right. And then uh, after it's all over to the big thing I thought of was like, how the fuck is this illegal? Oh, that was the biggest thing. Like, during... what the fuck? We came to a realization. During... What a weird thing. Allegedly, when we walk around uh, on this alleged substance, we we walked by a post office and that had a really you just big walked area. around. Yeah, after I don't, I don't after know if I'm brave after, enough to walk around after in the about city. three hours and we yeah. had kind of reached the uh, okay. the lower end. Yeah, we were, we were equilibrium. Of yeah. sorts. like we were, right. it, we weren't we knew what oh, yeah. was going on. We were like fine. It, it, I think I was scared. What's going on. I was not, very scared yeah. that I was like going to be not in control of myself or something. Right. Same or like that I was going to be so visually distorted that I like wouldn't be able to like yeah, maneuver. That, that was my hold up too and I, I it wasn't like that at it all. It wasn't like that at all. No. It wasn't it's not very debilitating unless you take like a massive amount. It's not going to be You get like super alcohol. sensitive. Yeah. Like I it don't go don't I wouldn't ever do these and put yourself in a situation where there's a lot of negativity no. because Ooh. you're going to be very Absolutely. sensitive to that negativity. You'll just absorb it's gonna, it. It's just gonna hurt you. Yeah. You know, because you're just like you're. You've opened yourself up. Just be in a positive space. Right. I think you'll be fine. I I think I also want to try it like the the Terrence McKenna way. Dude, I want to. He does it. 
How to uh, he the, does the, it in, the closet, right? Like, well, doesn't he take he, like, one of the, ten, one of the like things, ten grams and like yeah. gets in the dark? One, <laughs> one of the one of the things he talks about is is exploring like being yeah. like here. Yeah. yeah, and the only way he says the only way to really be able to do that is eliminate your senses. So then you just travel inward. So it's like you know, don't have incense going. Have no yeah. sense of smell. Yeah. Pitch black. Yeah. No sound. So it's literally just. You. Well, the real move is a sensory deprivation tank in mushrooms. There if you, you do those two together, <laughs> I would, I couldn't imagine the type of things you're gonna come out with. Well, I mean, like I tend to That's like I tend to fall on the exploration end of this, like it, where I do I responded really well to it. I could think mm-hmm. I understood what it did to me, and reading other people's stories kind of makes me want to see how far I can take that. Yeah. In a weird way, Be- like because my ego, like I said, antibiotics for the ego. Mm-hmm. You can go further. You yeah. can destroy the ego even further. But there's more you lessons can, to you be can, had. You can completely annihilate every piece of of you, what you associate yourself being for temporarily. Yeah. You could do that. Now, like you're gonna have to be really brave. Yeah. You know, you're gonna have to be you have some experience doing it. I think. But you can reach some deeper levels, deeper, yeah. deeper, shedding away everything that you are, blend, you know, uh, dissolving back into the universe itself. You can reach, I'm sure, some some very crazy places. Um, and I can't, there's there's part of me that like wants to do that, but the other part that's like it hears bad stories and and is like, you know, you you got to be careful. You can. Yeah, it's not. It's not something to be just trifled with, I feel like. I wish we had shaman. You can't. I know, someone. I wish I had someone to fucking talk to about this. I don't. It was a professional at it. You know? Get Orby Marcus. No, honestly, somebody who's a real pro. Yeah. There's nobody available. Like, or, I mean, there is, but they're underground. Where are you going to find them? Amber Lyon, maybe. She's pretty good. Yeah, but, like, you know what I mean? Like, (laughs) there's no, like, consultant. I can't just Google, like, uh, mushroom shaman like there aren't and yeah. you can't be a professional mushroom shaman even though like that is a very needed have, profession have you ever listened to the terence mckenna trip guide yeah no, yeah cool. i've done that one um i do feel like though like totally destroying your ego is not the move also like i don't think that's the best option because that's that's imbalanced and i feel like some ego is needed to get shit done right like you can't, sometimes it's kind of good to be selfish yeah a few Maybe. times not all the time i mean you, you but, get that still goes back to the shaman yeah. like they, they're gonna kind of know what they're just gonna know they're no personal move. trainers for for those yeah for psychedelics. you know i mean like look if i walk into a gym and i don't know anything about anything i'm gonna be terrible at it i might pick up some weights swing them around i might get a little bit stronger i might have a little fun be like oh that was fun but i, I won't know what the fuck i'm doing yeah. and slowly like i might figure things out but man it would be helpful if there was a trainer to be like okay this is this, this is this, this does this, this does this, and like shares their per- practical experience so that you have a framework and you know how to like, how to use these tools the right way, you know? I mean, obviously well, they could be very dangerous. You don't want to yeah. like step under a 200 pound uh, barbell and back squat it without any experience. You really hurt Just yourself. Fuck your shit up. I mean, yeah. that, that's originally what doctors were though. No, right? Like that was the original goal. Sure. Like, like even the word doctor uh, is Latin for teacher. So like that's basically all those dudes used to be at one point, you know, educators of odd roots and herbs that they knew would help you out back in the day. Right. And then somewhere along the line, it just took, it took too much of a turn. It went too it maybe all too much synthetic, too too regulated, maybe. Yeah. Some. But I, I mean, there was a feeling of like this would change the world. Yeah. You know, like it, I, it there will. was a feeling of like. This is I get it. This is actually kind of absurd that this is illegal. This this doesn't do no. You know, and especially at this dose, th- this made you want to give hugs, and <laughs> it made better. you want to smile, and it made you want to be a better person. You appreciate, and it. and that was pretty much it. That yeah, was the pretty much about the it, though, experience. Too, is it does. I mean, depends on the person you are, because I I've been around people that that just aren't aren't don't keep themselves in good places like yeah. you guys are. You know, and, and it'll yeah, it'll well, it'll do something different. Well, I think it it, it it makes you see yourself, yeah, in a way that you can't hide. You can't hide 
Oh, you can't get away from the way you make other people feel. You know how I was saying yeah. about that negativity thing? Yeah. Like it made you hurt. Like if yeah. you started thinking or saying something that was like mean, it hurt. Now imagine if you're just the type of person that lives in that, lives in that hurt, lives in that yeah. judgment, lives in that self. You know, imagine that hundred pound bag I was talking about is a thousand pound bag. And like they have no idea. And like yeah. they associate everything that they are with that thing that they have to shed and with and live in that place where you're constantly hurting. Yeah. That's going to be not so fun. Yeah. So you know what I mean? Like that's supposed to that. Yeah. Through drugs, you're going to want to run away. You're going to be terrified. And that's why I think people have bad trips is because they're seeing yeah. themselves. Yeah. For real. Now. Yeah. And I think, and I think those are the people that are also like, this shit should be illegal. This does terrible things to you. And it's like, yeah, it does terrible things to you. Yeah. And, and you have to redefine what you mean by terrible. Right. You're going through some hard work yeah. in much needed work because you've become a cunt. Yeah. And this <laughs> shit heals cuntiness. It shows but, you. You're a yeah. Douche. Or it shows you that you're a cunt and you don't like that. And you, you don't want other, yeah, yeah, and and you've yeah, you've what? totally misinterpreted the situation. Yeah. Like it, it's very similar to the people that are so hard on homosexuality, and oh, you're yeah. like, you're almost like, what are you? Hiding? Are you? Yeah, are what you, you? Why are you trying to hurt you yourself? You sound like because you're an angry. It sounds homosexual like you're yelling yourself. at you, sounds, right? Not him. It sounds right. like you're yelling at you right now, so. right? <laughs> and it's like or these ma'am. are the same people, the same people that want mushrooms illegal, the same people that want marijuana illegal, right. are the people that need mushrooms and the people that need marijuana. It's usually those who know the least about it. Exactly, and and it's it's it, it, it's messed up, man. We need a whole new system of like of actual data driving laws. Law supported by data. Wouldn't that be good? Wouldn't Isn't that, that be weird? the move? You know, I mean, like think about <laughs> that's, that's not the thing right now. We don't have laws supported by data. It's we just, don't. It's, we don't. We don't have laws made by experts. Even we no. have laws made by politicians. Politicians aren't experts oh, right. on anything. Right. They're experts on getting elected. Yes. But they don't know shit about drugs. They don't know shit about science. They don't know really. shit about like sociology, psychology. No. I think they, the last they, the last forty presidents I was reading somewhere, the last forty, every single one of them either had a business degree or a law degree. Like yeah. the last forty. Why so what does that tell you? <laughs> Why do we have these? Shouldn't there be engineers and doctors and philosophers yes. as we leaders? We should have experts. Shouldn't those people be leading things? Making, well, at least making the laws. Yeah. Like, we should at least, like, if we have laws on drugs, we should have drug experts making yeah. those laws. Those should be right. in charge of the F- is FDA, right? Food and Drug Administration. Yeah. Sure. Well, I don't care. As those... long as you're someone who actually is a scientist that studies drugs yeah. and studies and knows what they do, how addictive are they, how damaging this is. How much of a socioeconomic problem do they cause? People that study the effects of like of 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 um, uh, cr- uh, crime and and uh, pol- like police forces and like and well, illegal markets. Like they they, they you, should take they should have experts that study this stuff and and know how to create a better situation. They should be the ones making policy. Did you see that video? Of it was is the woman she's in charge of the FDA right so the, the administration or the branch of the government that's in charge of food and drugs, and she was in she was in some meeting with Congress and this guy was asking her congressman I think he was he's like ma'am is marijuana just as lethal as heroin answer me this question statistically and f- and she was she was like uh, well I I don't they're both illegal substances and uh, like she was and he's like ma'am is it is it, is it or is it call. not as bad as heroin marijuana. Go and he, she was like, "Well, I can't. I don't. That, uh, they're both illegal, so I don't know how to respond." Like, pull up the video if you want. She just she would refuse, refusing to answer the question in front of Congress. She was just like, "And this woman is in charge of the legalization of all drugs." She's like, "Yeah, I don't know. We don't have data. Uh, they're both illegal, though. We can tell you that." And he's, he's like, "Ma'am, yes or no? Is this bad or not?" She's like, well, "Like refused, <laughs> refused." <laughs> She's like. Ah. I plead the fifth. Like, we're just, like, tapping out in front of everybody. People are like, are you fucking serious? Like, just... But yeah. Or do. That's who's in charge. Dude. An agency, I'm asking you a very straightforward question. Is heroin worse for someone's health than marijuana? All illegal drugs are, are bad. Does this mean you don't know? Heroin causes an addiction. Okay. That causes, uh, causes many problems and it's very hard to... Uh, to kick. So does that mean that the health impact of heroin is worse than marijuana? Is that what you're telling me? Um, I, I think I think you're asking a subjective question. No, it's a the the. Uh, <laughs> what was that? They, the reason marijuana is illegal 
Oh, yeah, explain to people who might not know. <laughs> well, well, no, like I, I'm not going to go into the whole thing. Okay. But the official statement, and you can look this up, the official statement on why marijuana is illegal is that it causes white women yes. to have sexual in- intercourse with, with Negroes. With Negroes. That's Where the, the hell actual did you language. Find that? That's no, you in can the look newspapers. it up. That, that was like the first statement from the the drug czar at the time. By the way, we still have a drug czar. <laughs> Who the fuck calls themselves a czar? Uh, but we still have one. <laughs> The very first drug czar, after they made marijuana illegal, the, the official statement on why it was illegal or made illegal is that it caused yeah. white women to want to have sex with Negroes. Yeah. The, the official reporting what in the newspaper. What the fuck is yeah, that? The reportings in the newspaper at the time were saying that black men, as soon as they smoked this marijuana, which is a Mexican herb, it's a slang, it's not yeah. even the real name for it, um, causes them to rape white women. Right. We got to keep them away from <laughs> our white women was the issue. And was, and that's how powerful momentum, dude. Yeah, is. Man. The momentum of ideas. Or lack of information. Lack of information to break up that momentum. Yeah. Because like, same- we're still rolling on that. People just assume, oh, marijuana is bad. bad. And guess what? It was based on this like silly idea yeah. that it made, it, it caused like some ridiculous, ridiculous effects that nobody could prove wrong because nobody had access to a, a computer information. Or and, anything that, like that. and then in the 50s, there was that one major study where uh, they published saying that marijuana kills brain cells. But then they yeah. didn't wait until like 2010 to reveal how they <laughs> did the studies. Yeah, they took a crazy. mask, covered the face of a chimp, like <laughs> suff- literally suffocated it with and smoke, just blew fucking smoke down its face for like 20 minutes. It just fucking blew its face. The monkey just passed out by the fucking end of this. No, dude, and they like, live. Yep, they live cells. for days. Yeah. No, they live for days, breathing straight, yeah. smoking. So that kills brain cells, or you know, suffocation does. And, and Either kills one. you. It was completely suffocation. But it was <laughs> suffocation. <laughs> they waited like thirty years to tell people how they did that. Pretty yeah. ridiculous. Well, I mean, they just—they're still doing it. They yeah. released a study the other day that marijuana uh, causes heart disease. Oh, and, tell, and if yeah. you read, if you read the details of the study, they—they uh, they took, I, th- I believe it was six thousand uh, subjects at random, and they, there was like three thousand some of them that had smoked marijuana. They looked at the 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 deaths of the people in that group and what caused it. There was a one point eight percent difference between their smokers deaths and non smokers caused by heart disease and non smokers. Yeah. And they said they published a study. There it, it is, folks. Marijuana causes, causes heart disease. disease. <laughs> Look. It's higher. Obviously. It's higher. Guys. Right. It's one point eight percent higher. Let's not account the amount of fast food any of these people eat. No, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Let's not take into or account the or the chemical breakdown. Yeah, Let's no. not take into account the fact that like if you've smoked marijuana, you probably have a higher chance of like doing other drugs as well. They didn't ask any other drugs. Yeah. You know, like if you've done cocaine, you've probably done marijuana too. You know, I mean I'm yeah. I'm not hundred percent sure. If you've done meth, you've probably done marijuana before. Right. So they didn't ask if, no, if these people had done like cocaine and meth, but I'd be willing to bet people that had done marijuana also of that group, there was a lot of people that had done other things too. Even I'm, even drinking, I mean drinking. Yeah, even drinking. It didn't even, but it, it, it was a shitty study. It's yeah. shit science. That's that's it's junk science. And they're still spreading it like it's just news. It's not science, it's hoping, propaganda. That shit's yeah, on that shit's on they're CNN. Just, they're, it's, <laughs> Yeah, it was published it's, by the American Heart Association. Who was led by, what, what's his fucking name? The guy that posted the know. lipid theory in the 50s. Yeah, Again, what a, it, it doesn't matter. It, it's it's bullshit, junk science that they're just assuming and hoping people will read the headline and won't read any further and will just change their stance. Nice. You know? But I don't think they'll be able to do that much no, longer. We people have the are, internet. You can't. It's questions. impossible. For now. We have we the have, internet for now. For now, I know, for now, for now. we have the world's wealth. Of information in our fucking pockets. You can't post this nonsense propaganda anymore. It's just not effective. Yeah. It's just not. It's like, I mean, and that whole generation of people who rely well, on it's news effective. stations. It is, but it's less It's effective less for effective. an older it's generation. Slowly, yeah. None of my friends fucking less. watch CNN or Fox. We're on Reddit. Mm-hmm. I we're watch all, Daily exactly. Show. They, yeah, 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 yeah. The most we'll do is watch Daily Show. But we're all on Reddit. Subscribe well, to our we, politics we or can, whatever. We can get our information from like sources that we like yeah like we we you know i mean in essence what we're doing the reason i like uh other podcasts is i like thinking like this person thinks for yeah. a minute you know what i mean it's sure. it's almost like okay this person almost thinks exactly like i do so i'm gonna let them think for me here for an hour and maybe i'll learn something mm-hmm. you know and most of america has allowed these propaganda sources to like think for them you know like cnn msnbc um, and you know any of the major outlets, they've just allowed 
this government right. supported or um you know this brainwashing authority to think for them and it's because these for the longest time that was the only wealth of source only of option. information yeah, and so option. since me and you have access to the internet which gives us access to every person on the planet basically we get to learn all these different perspectives which will then influence us for the greater good we're just going to learn about all different points of yeah. views whereas they only had that one little sliver we can, and we can navigate right. the different points of views and filter I, the good I'll and bad i'll tell you what i still like listening to some cra- like very contrary viewpoints yeah. because I, I i feel like it it makes you understand yeah. Team where rivals. people are coming yeah. from better people like peter shift yeah we never will agree with him but Dude, it's I listen, good to know i listen to glenn beck yeah and like I, I try to understand where he's coming from, mm-hmm. and I try to understand that like, there's that a lot that? of people that love this guy, so there's a lot of people that must think this way. So what is it that's separating me and them? Is that you know the, what I mean? Like how? The, yeah. What do I have to do to make a connection with this group? Is that the nappy-headed hoe guy? Is that what? Is that the no, guy? you're thinking no. of uh, Imus. Okay. Yeah, Imus, got, <laughs> okay. Imus got canned for. Oh uh, yeah, he did get fired, huh? Yeah, he called uh, you, the Rutgers. Women's basketball team, nappy-headed hoes. That probably was wow. the best such move. bullshit, though, that he got canned for that. You think? Well, what do you think about that? I mean, do you think that's that's? I don't fair? think. I think if I think if like Howard Stern did it, it would have been fine. Yeah, I don't think it was a very nice thing to say, but I don't <laughs> think that he should have been fired. Because if you don't like his, just don't listen to him, and just don't sponsor him if you don't like that. But don't fire the dude. I mean, because I now guess you- they can fire him if they. I, 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 what I think was silly about the whole thing is that I don't think he really had any mean intent to I those girls personally. Yeah, I didn't. Listen I to think it, he I was think. trying to be funny. I think it was like Kramer saying the n word on stage. Yeah, like Kramer was like spouting the m word out, not because like he was a racist. N-word. I hate that. <laughs> Too. I can't. It was because it was part of the bit, right? Why? I don't just, know. It's nigger. I don't see that. Like, it just, it's, I hate. Feel bad. Uh, all right. Fair enough. It's got to stop somewhere. I feel. Well, it, I, it's, <laughs> don't give it power, though. Like, when we say the N word, like, it's this mystical being. We, right. Like, Voldemort right. in Harry Potter. <laughs> don't say his name. Right. Don't say it. No, nah, you're right. Okay. You know so, I mean? Kramer said nigger on stage yeah. about I, seven times. And I don't think he's racist. I, just I don't think, think he's, he's a racist shit comic. either. I think he's a terrible comedian. <laughs> he's a and, comic. like, he hears guys like Louis C.K. say it. Well, they said it. And, like, he's, he hears these other. And, he, and he, they get lots of laughs. And he's like, oh, so all you got to do, do yeah. is say nigger. And then people laugh at you. Yeah. So, he, like, just got on stage. And he was like, nigger, nigger, nigger. <laughs> and and people are like, that's what's going on? Like, it didn't work at all. I think Imus did the same thing. I think he's like, he oh, I'm gonna, I think he he doesn't even know what nappy headed ho probably, means. He probably said it with swagger, too. Yeah, like, he's nappy headed like, ho. This, <laughs> this is what those kids are saying these days. Like, I think he was just, he blurted it out. Like, he, I don't think he had any mean intent. Like for that, these girls. Who was the one announcer guy for like the NFL? He's just the he dummy. Said, he said, "Look at that monkey go!" To about a player. <laughs> oh my! Did he really? <laughs> yeah. And no, really. Yes, yeah. And he got in big trouble. And the dude was doing it for like thirty imagine. years. Yeah. And he was like, "I'm so sorry. I I didn't mean because he was black, but yeah. I call all my nieces and nephews monkeys." He's like, they're my little monkeys. So I got excited when I watched my favorite player run. I was like, look at that monkey. And that hey. was, that's what he oh, said. Oh, that's messed up. And it was his favorite player, yeah. too. I oh, believe man. him. I, ge- I do, too. I, I generally believe the guy. But, but <laughs> people are going to so forgive you. No, for they, that. they got rid of him. Wrong place, wrong time. <laughs> but, but there's also a problem with like people that love, love it when other people fuck up. Yeah. Like, you know, there's like this whole group of people that just are. They love being sensitive. It's that Tumblr <laughs> like, group. It's that Tumblr group. That they love liberal, being sensitive. Yeah. How, you, you feminist, this sexist, is... transgenderist, <laughs> ass how, how dare you? Are you eating meat right now? Uh, like, it's like, I, there's... Uh, Who do you think you are I'm, saying nappy-headed hoes and disrespecting and these women? Not for I nothing, am losing sleep over they're this. They're usually white women. Yeah. Not for nothing. Well, I mean, it's usually it's usually just women <laughs> overly sensitive bitches on Tumblr posting their goddamn some people, feminist. Blog. Some people love that. Like they, they like the th- act of defending yes. anything. Yes. <laughs> like, Always. Like that that blogger who attacked yeah. Jimmy Norton. 
Yeah. But whatever, like, he was, she's like, oh, he, she watches, but he's a sexist asshole and he hates women. Jim Norton, the bald comedian dude? Yes. Jim Norton. I love that guy. Who's an infamous deviant. He likes getting pegged. He talks about it all the time. He's Does just, he really? Yeah. He's just a deviant. He's so and, gross. and that's who, that's who Jimmy Norton is. He's really funny, though. He's great. Oh, he's and hilarious. So, and not for nothing, you can't go to a stand up show and be like, oh, he's degrading women and blah, blah. Maybe, but it's also an art form. And may, you don't know how to tell he's really, he's not up there preaching, he's telling jokes. Yeah, offensive he's being funny. material on His job purpose. Is to be funny because we all realize those things are wrong, but we can laugh about it because we're in this special setting and this guy's saying it in the right way. Don't fucking act like he's making a proclamation against women, like you fucking moron. I know you understand English. You know when someone's right. joking. It's yeah. absurd to think. Oh, that, a sense of humor's gone. Then is that it? We live in a world of all seriousness. Is that right. what you want to do? For, no, how dare you make a joke about anything, <laughs> sir? <laughs> like I just I, turn I, this I, bottle I, sideways. I, I don't. I don't understand the thinking. It's like if if you, if you make like a gay, you can't tell me gay jokes aren't funny, or like black jokes aren't funny, or white jokes aren't they're fucking funny. You can't act like this is a serious thing. Well, Patrice said it right when he said he said <sighs> Sorry, uh, uh, the, he's like funny is funny. Yes, you know I mean like it doesn't matter. It crosses all barriers. It, it doesn't. It comes doesn't, from the same place. Yeah, it comes from the same place as I'm funny, and and if it is, it's it's gonna be fine. Mm. It's the truth. Like that's the other part of it. Yeah. If it's actually the truth, if you're pointing out something that is true, yeah. it's going to be hard for that not to get laughed at because everybody's going to accept that as true. That's why stereotypes are funny. Yeah. You know, it's funny to make fun of like, the token white guy over here that likes, you know, Pitbull. Pitbull. Pitbull and <laughs> Eminem. <laughs> Because it's the truth. Because how many other guys that look like me, named Skyler, like like, like uh, Eminem, <laughs> and, and and think that hip hip hop is pitbull? How Skyler. many other guys? There's a lot of us. So that's funny, and it's funny because it's the truth. Humor, and it's not like putting me down. It's not like that's stupid. Humor is this magical tool that allows us to view at taboo topics in a way in which we could all agree that it's ridiculous and then laugh about it. That's yeah. why it's fucking awesome. Isn't it interesting why there's not more humor in politics for yeah. that reason? Because it's it, absurd. Because it, it, well, but it points out truth. Yes. You know? But wasn't, wasn't it Kennedy is, like a funny guy? Like didn't people, I don't, I don't know. I don't know much about him, but I heard, I, 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 don't, know. I don't know, man. I, I know that ass. there's not, I think that we could use more humor in politics. Yeah. Why well, don't be I that think, serious about something that's absurd. Well, or be that serious about shit that you don't know. Yeah. Like, I, I think point out the things that we know. And then, like, let's have a discussion about the stuff that we don't and try to come to some sort of answer on what we should do on things. Yeah. But you think that was why such, it was such a big deal when Obama did uh, In Between Two Ferns? Yeah. Because he was. I think it was great. He was making fun of his own bill yeah. at one point. It was pretty funny. What's yeah. In Between Two the Ferns? The Obamacare thing? A be Between Two Ferns is a show by Zach Galifianakis where he portrays. Oh, I, I've been hearing. I heard about this in it's, Texas. It's, it's a great. Lot. So, so he acts like a very just dumb interviewer who offends his guests, and Obama was on it. Like, and he has like right. Natalie Portman and all these other stars right. on there, and Obama was on it, and he was just making fun of Obama. It was hilarious. It was, and Obama was making fun of him. It was great. But that's probably why he did that too. Good well, PR. I think it was good. <laughs> it was hilarious. like don't you say you reached a lot more people? Well, yeah, I think... absolutely. I mean, the people that watch Zach Galifianakis are are the people that he's trying to keep, uh, you know, in approval and things yeah. of that nature. And he's got that makes be, sense. He's got to be hip, and that's how you do it. You know, whether it was good or or bad or not, it's the demographic he's got to go for. Yeah. So. Dude, this election is going to be really interesting. Ooh, this yeah. coming election yeah, is going to be really interesting. Because I don't think people realize how much the fucking world has changed in four years. Yeah. Like, we're at a point of, like, exponential change. Right. And the last four years, like, all right, four years ago, there was no Joe Rogan experience. Four years ago, there was no digital money. There was, there was, uh, yes, there was, was Joe Rogan just started. Barely. Sorry. You, but honestly, I'm, I'm like, think, think about, think about, there had, the, uh, the conversation over psychedelics wasn't really yeah. happening at all. The conversation about legalizing marijuana wasn't even potentially possible no. ever anywhere. No, you're right. right. Like, that was a crazy thought. Legal weed in America? Yeah. Like, now just on a states. convenience store shelf? Not only that, but... Fuck you. That'll never happen. Not only that, happened like the next year. Selling drugs on the internet, too, is brand new. Yeah. Bitcoin exploded. Reddit exploded more. exploded like new ways of getting media new ways of like uh, pod, podcasting popularity has exploded it's insane now. the 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 NPR way npr has like five podcasts it's a major radio station really 
Yeah. And they're all fantastic. Yeah. Check out Radio Lab. I was I was listening to this dude talk about this idea of zero zero marginal cost. And mm-hmm. like what that does is like it used to be that that people couldn't produce things because it costs a lot of money to set up what it costs to to make it mm-hmm. right like to make music you need to buy have a studio well, you needed right. all this like setup and although right. like we have all this stuff you, pe- you people do this same thing that we're doing from their kitchen no prob with like five hundred dollars worth of setup right well in you know in another four years it'll cost 50 bucks you'll yeah. be able to do it on your phone thanks right. to more so law. the marginal cost for things keeps dropping yeah. so everybody can produce goods content opinion right. everybody can participate which is why right. if the uh, internet starts being censored that way it'll it's real bad. exactly it's exactly real bad i think about. that they see that happening and they're just trying to stifle it you think you think obama like on his last yeah, last maybe. days would just veto that shit and be like peace everybody love amazing. me forever that would be amazing if you if you were to do that people would love him forever yeah people would forget the nc the npaa thing yeah. you signed you forget all that shit yeah but think about how much how much content how much people's attention has been stolen, not from companies, mm. other people. You know, think how much the news, the New York Times used to have a stranglehold on information. Yeah. You got your information from from the New York Times. Now, how many people get their information from blogs, from podcasts, from yeah. uh, from and and even outlets that aren't trying to make money, just from outlets that are yeah. like that are people. Well, what's great about what you, these sources is what you're saying is that it's people there. Yeah. Like, I can look at Twitter and see some Egyptian guy in the middle of the war yeah. posting photos. So it's real-time yeah. information. It's not he, going through Fox. It's not going through right. these bullshit filters. No. It's unbiased. It's factual. Yeah. Bam, there it is. So now you, you have this, the zero marginal cost problem where, it you know, the only way to get this content through is to have a big company that, like, could just spit out lots of information. Mm. There's Now there's an even competition. Yeah. Now it's actually, you're you're going to get my attention based on your merit. Not on your ability to just pay for it. Yeah. So well, look at Rogan. The whole economy is going to change. Like, and and I've heard it. It stated this is the end of capitalism, because n- no longer will you be able to to win that war on the cost battle. So everybody's going to be competing with each other. Yeah. You know, I'm going to be able to compete with Exxon Mobil for energy by putting up solar panels on my roof yeah, and selling that back to the grid yeah. at the same cost that Exxon Mobil sells to the grid. Yeah. So I'm going to be able to compete with you the playing field on the same playing field. So like what it's hurt my what's, profession. What's going to happen <laughs> is there the whole idea of capitalism of being able to accumulate and like and employ it's over and like, sun. Monopolies you're are not, done. You're going to have a lot harder time doing that because the people that are going to have to work yeah. for you can make more money doing it themselves yeah. and do it at the same cost that it costs you. So why would they work for you yeah. when I can make the same amount of money just doing it here on my own for my garage? Yeah, I mean, this podcast, again, for example, has just as much of a potential to reach Fox News viewer levels. Yeah. If, just if it's as good much, enough. If, if it's, it's good, good enough. If it's good, but it has to be good. Yeah, it has to be good on its merit, and then it potentially can. And then, but then the question is if you can't, if we don't have these old constructs of like this big company that pays employees, which pay utility companies, which pay people that, uh, for groceries, like the whole system is going to change, right? Like the whole top down system changes and it gets more level. But like, how do people get paid is the question. And good merit I eventually. Think the is the error, yeah, I think the answer, and we talked about this this week, is like people that we will have an economy based on tipping and off like being cool. Like, for example, like this, the beginning of this podcast, we put up our Bitcoin address. If you like what we're saying, you might send us a dollar. Yeah. If you, if, if people walk around with like a Please. Bitcoin address, like just like on their shirt, <laughs> on their hat, right? Well, we do it Somebody shows. holds, holds a door for you. Somebody tells you a funny joke. On your shirt. Somebody's yeah. cool. You're awesome. And you scan. Yeah, exactly. Damn. Just, just in the same way that we do, uh, likes on Facebook Damn. or like followers on Twitter, you can reward somebody financially just for being cool. It's a like life. telling you a good story, doing a good thing. Holding the door for an, like an elderly lady, you know, like anything nice can be tipped. It's a anything life, is potentially uh, potential money. Yeah, it's life built on merit. And the incentives to be cool yeah. go way up because yeah. if you're cool across the board, you're gonna be rich. Yeah, the <laughs> cooler totally you fine. are, you're gonna be fucking rich. If you're a dick. If you're a good dick, luck. you're gonna be poor as fuck. Yeah, man. Yeah, you're gonna be homeless. You better start so working hard. I, I, I hope and I think we're shifting towards this new sort of 
of, uh, I think he called it a collective commerce society. Who said this? Um, this was a, a big thing. A big video. thing conversation. Nice. I forget the, the name of the dude. But his big thing was zero marginal cost. And I'll 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 pull this up like yeah. right now later in editing. We'll like show you who it is. Um but it that was a big thing. I realized like, oh shit, we're in for a new this is a new time. Like you, just you like think... just like when, when capitalism came into being and that yeah. was a big deal. Yeah. Like we're at a shifting point now from monarch from the monarchy system where you had to be a king, a lord, uh, you know, you had to be like endorsed by the 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 governing part faction yeah to be rich to be wealthy and do you think though with this form of uh economy like through, like you know happiness through merit money through merit rather um do you think it would have to be worldwide immediately or could it start at one place because, no i think it'll grow like I don't a virus see how it would trade like other like what other countries want to trade with a, an economy based off happiness like who would trade with that country and what would you trade um i can see that what so like give me an example what do you what do you mean well, so like what do you what so, are you kind of referring to so like the united states right they'll they buy and sell shit with other countries every yeah day. but they buy it with from companies right so yeah. or even just the government itself it buy shit no they don't buy i mean the government the government doesn't sell things directly maybe the military sells things but the military acts like a company okay when they enough. do that but even, even then what are they going to trade with other countries if we're using ha happiness well, currency? If, if you're being a dick like nothing but like if, if they're anything of value but the thing is like they're they're gonna be they won't have to get it from the government the whole idea that zero marginal cost idea is there there won't be centralized outlets to make things they just printed fucking 12 houses in china yeah. in in 24 hours and 3D. each of them cost forty eight hundred dollars the 3d printed houses you're, you're not about? gonna need yeah. a team of wait of, what a 3d printed house so they made. 3d printed 12 houses in yeah, in 24 hours each of them cost forty eight hundred dollars not a single person was used to build them it was just this machine Shit. just popped it out popped it out popped it out popped it out no cement homie yeah it's pretty fucking i awesome. mean and it was like way wow. more way stronger than any house made by people way stronger i mean it was like mm -hmm. solid cement everything you get it perfect yeah they did it perfect all the the plumbing and the electric was already like pre done like within it, so it was already like fitted for it. Windows fitted for it. Everything like perfect. Forty eight hundred dollars. You're wow. not gonna need to buy a hundred thousand dollar house. No. Right. You're just gonna order this crane company to come over, set up the down printer, a, set up the yeah. printer. You'll have to pay for the materials and whatnot. Time on. Take about six hours. Pump out your house however you want it, and they're gonna leave. And that's how so everybody's awesome. gonna get their houses. I that's cannot awesome. wait. Yeah, I mean that's just it's yeah. got how it's gonna be. The idea of be constructing a house, that's it's gonna be long gone. Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna have this giant crane like printer. Yeah. It's just gonna print you a perfect house. At most in the future, all you have to pay extra would be for the location. You know? Yeah, if you're I, be I on mean the beach, that's why like you know, buy beach. land now, hold on to it. Yeah. <laughs> And just wait for these fucking house printers to start build becoming a, a thing. Build a fucking compound somewhere. Just a giant castle. Yep. That's the move. Just have farmland, a, a, a 3D printed Dude, castle. That's a, that's a great and business. And a 3D printed Dude, cannon. How good? how cool of a business is that? Like, if you have it's the money to buy business. one of these uh, house printers. Get started now. Yeah, dude, start that business now. You know Go be, buy one you know of those a, things. A great city for that? Learn how to Detroit. do it. Detroit. <laughs> oh, wow. You're the first guy in Detroit to <laughs> yeah. set that shit up? Oof. Yep. He'd be making bank. Dude, did you hear uh Tesla's moving back into Detroit? They really? bought one of the old the old factories and they're bring they're gonna build their uh move. their new Teslas in Detroit. That's cool. Start making jobs there. Yeah. That's, a, that's a good move. That's yeah. really awesome. Why is Detroit a great place? I guess because they already have old factories there made yeah. for cars. Yeah. Make cars, like why yeah. not? Yeah, they, well factor. they they have they have a uh what's it called? A um a group of people that are knowledgeable on how to do it mm. right and they True. need jobs yeah they bad. need jobs bad Have so they're willing detroit? to take no. detroit's really i've been there like really twice bad. it's fucking sad Ugh. i went uh, i was on an amtrak train through there and i stopped there oh my it was it was wild wild west there was a Straight there was a point up. where the major nope. grocers left detroit too yeah. right i was like think about that think the about major like grocers like, yeah. yeah like think about like you know you know, here it's like Whole Foods and yeah. like Fair Trade and like Trader Joe's. Like they're the shit. ones, the big places where people go to get food. You know, imagine those places just saying, "Nah, we can't be here anymore." We're it's out. terrifying. You know, like A and P or so Price no Chopper or anything like that. 
Yeah, like a local God, market damn. or something like that. But the major grocers Dude, left. Going through like uh, going fine. through those little pockets of towns right outside the city. It was there. There was it was just like watching The Walking Dead. Like looking out my window, just buildings with trees growing out of them. Nothing in the street. Cars that are burned in America, half collapsed. But like, like that's exactly what it looked like. Walking Dead scenes in America. Like, America. It's like that's like four hours away. Where from they here. build cars. Yeah, dude. It was insane. I was like, I can never come back here. I was terrified. I felt like I was going into a war zone. And then you know, the train. A couple hours later, we went to Chicago, this metropolis. So I was like, right. how this? I was in the same area. It's bananas. You know, Google should just move in there and like redo the city. Like they should take just it move over. In. They they lay down their own network. I'd be scared. I don't know if at I wanna... first, yeah. I don't you know. know if... But like, here's the thing: like, you can literally set that place up exactly the way you want it. Yeah. You know, you you should take you, a big company Houses like that. Are like fifty bucks at there. The beginning. Yeah. Houses. Dude, think bucks. you could move in a whole mess of like employees. Build everything would be so cheap. Can you imagine like if. if just setting up like your infrastructure there, there, it'd be nothing. They'd make Skynet you pay, there. You pay pennies That'd on the dollar. Skynet. You pay yeah, see the new Facebook office that's gonna be launched. It's gonna be the the no. biggest open office in the world. Open, uh, like people just go. No, like um, dude, like the it, no cubicles and shit. Like it's an open office. Oh, it's gonna be like the largest one in the world. I saw it on the news in Texas. It was just that's where they go in Texas. All right, Facebook. Facebook does not have a good reputation. Crazy. No. Like, oh, people don't like them. <laughs> like, it's so weird. <laughs> like you think of them as evil almost. Because if they buy, if they're they're like a miniature, uh, I don't know, man. Like whenever they buy things, I feel like that product is just in danger of going to shit. Like I was scared when they bought Oculus. I was scared once they bought Instagram. Like, Oculus. Just, Oculus Rift, the the three D virtual know, reality. Oh yeah, you guys are telling me about that. Oh, yeah, sounds awesome. They bought oh, it. Oh yeah. But they bought, yeah, they put all the money behind it, which I, I don't think it's going to be a bad thing. I don't think they're like, they bought it because they're worried about it. I think they actually want to bring it to market faster. For sure. So they're, they're trying to bring, because I think they see a lot of potential uses of incorporating oh, okay. it into Facebook. But I don't think they're, they have malicious intent. No, I just think you people know, are think scared that it. the product will be ruined. I mean, like, the nice thing about it now is, like, they have access to a lot of money. Yeah. And, and good programmers. Yeah. And they, they, that was what was holding them back from, like, a consumer version. They said they needed, like, another $500 million or oh, something man. to, like, really do what they needed to do to it. Probably to, R&D. To make, yeah. Yeah. Some steep cost. To, right. Like, that they, they thought they could do it, but they didn't have the money to do it. And you, you need a big, giant company like Facebook to, like, actually spend the dollars it needs spent to, like, bring that thing to market. Yeah. But the faster you bring it to market, the faster it incorporates with Facebook. True. The more people on Facebook, the more, like, you're making money through Facebook. And then a better product will come, which would be great. Yeah. It's pretty fun. Awesome. Yeah, we're on the brink of fucking change, everything changing. You like, ever... money's, money's going to be different. Yeah. That's going to so, be the next form of TV. So the election started all this. Yeah. So how do you think this is going to affect the election? How it's going to go down? Because I I mean, think, I think, if, you're, if you're a politician yeah. and you're on television right now and you're saying, I'll do this and I'll do that, someone just quit Google and we'll find your whole resume, homeboy. We'll see if, like, you, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, and, they'll and find they your home. And they did that better than they've ever done in the last election. Yeah. You know how, like, they, all those videos of, like, Romney going back the on contradicting his, stuff. Yeah, and, him contradicting himself. Yeah. Every time he contradicted himself, there was a million videos of him contradicting himself. Do you remember that video of him? at the? He was at that, that meeting where everyone bought, like, $5,000 plates, and it was just a very small meeting of, like, lobbyists or whatever, and he's talking about how, listen, we're not going to get 48% of the country. You know, we don't need them, all right? They're the, the ones who rely too much on the government and their dime anyway. We need to get the other voters, the other 52 or whatever. Like, if he was just shitting on, like, half the country, basically. Yeah. You didn't see that? It was a secret recording video? You oh, that? yeah, I do. It was big in the news. Right. It was just, Shit like that will happen. Well, the, the, I mean, look, that guy's a professional getting elected. He's good like, at he's it. Like, he's talking about how he could get elected. That's yeah. all. Like, that, that shouldn't show you anything other than what their job really is. Yeah. And that's how those jobs work. And man. it's like and that just, because we let it. To, yeah, they have to figure out... By the numbers, what do I have to do? What do I have to look like in order to like capture this group of people that's going to vote for me, and that's going to be enough for me to get elected? I, I think the best thing we could hope for this election is is a potential alternative. Like I want to see a um, Ron Paul like character or yeah. like a uh, a third party be taken seriously, yeah. and I, I, like not even saying that this uh, that they'll get elected. But if it's like, if it creates 
an idea in the people's mind that they could be elected, yeah, that'll be a win. That's the move. That's like, the win, man. Like the uh, what's it? I think it's the pirate party. Because that just that, means it's a matter of time. They have a badass name, something like the pirate party or yeah, something, something like, like that. that in Iceland. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And the uh, that guy who did get elected, he yeah. fucking became the governor of Rizavik, Iceland. Yeah. And like his whole thing was like fuck bankers and this, that, and the other. And Iceland became the first country to ban banks. Like yeah, they, they exactly. Banned. They did. They it worked. They did it on a small yeah. scale. They did what the people wanted. And the guy who they elected, I think he was like in a band or something. Like yeah. he wasn't even a politician of, of sorts. And he's doing a great job being the mayor of Rizovic. Yeah, homeboy did it. Like the capital of Iceland. They, and they, that's the move. Iceland was the first first country to issue their own digital currency. They have their own, do they? they? Well, they issued their own independent digital currency built on the Bitcoin platform. Nice. So they don't actually have control of it, yeah. but they just they they decided, okay, we are going to need this many coins. We need them divisible by this many decimals. We need them released over this much time. Okay. So like they they were allowed to set up like the basic framework, like the basic terms yeah. of like how many is going to go out, how are they going to go out, how do you mine them. Um, how many, how much can you break them up, you know, and then they just let it go. Yeah. And, and once you let it go, it's, it, it's, it's out there and, yeah. and you hope, you know, that it fits within your, your economy. Iceland's doing so it. So have man. we done that here? We haven't done that. No, yet, no, not the United States. People have done that. They've like that. You no. can, you can issue your own currency. You could, you, you know, issue Angelo, Angelo dollars yeah. in uh, in some sort of digital currency, but they won't be worth anything unless you can convince other people that this is a good currency Start this, and create a community of people that all believe that this has value and they trade goods for these, you know, do Angelo yeah. dollars. It's crazy. Yeah, and there's so there's awesome. yeah the dude from Forbes uh, who's doing articles on it. He he made his own currency, <laughs> and he actually the entire currency is worth fifty grand. Because there was a there was a small amount of people that actually bought it Good and like him. thought, well, maybe it'll be worth something. Fuck it. And his whole thing was like to show that look, anybody can do this. It's not real. You know, it, it, you shouldn't like you shouldn't put any value into it. But what it ended up showing is like, look, the whole thing's fake. Yeah, values in the eye all, of the value beholder. Value is yeah. all you know. Value in gold There's is no fake. Value in, yeah, right. between ours and that one, except no. ours is shittier. It's I all. It's all it is is a way. To make this machine work, yeah, it's all like we need some sort of rules for whatever reason. Yeah, well, we need rules for it to work. Like people have to have an agreed set upon rules. That's a, an agreed protocol. No, I mean for whatever we need currency, I guess for well, whatever we, reason. But currency really... is rules, right? Yeah. It's it's we need some sort of or else we don't know what we're doing. Like it it gets too confusing. But this offers new rules. This makes it easier. It's pretty badass. All right, man, dude, this was good. <laughs> um, just having us. You know, we, we, you we haven't had we haven't had uh, a um, uh, a one just with with me and you since the first one. Yeah, so we should do this like every ten episodes or so, at least for sure. Get our eyes into it. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah, man. I'm, I'll put the uh, the Bitcoin address back up. Yeah. If, if anybody like needs to know how to get Bitcoin, go to Coinbase.com and sign up for a Bitcoin wallet, and that's where you can buy Bitcoins with yeah. dollars. All you got to do once you have that wallet is there will be a box uh, once you, once you have the Bitcoin that you've bought that says send to. Just scan this uh, this code right from your phone onto the onto the TV or onto your computer, or type in the the address at the bottom. Yeah, and if if you need any more information on it, if you're still confused, just go to Reddit.com. Yes. Uh, slash r slash Bitcoin. Yeah. And they'll give you the full. An right amazing now. community that'll help you like understand how all that works. Yeah. Um, but if you, you know, if you want to help the podcast at all, appreciate it. We, we, we need the help. We, we appreciate it. We love you. Um, we will see you next week. Namaste bitches. <laughs> Later.